feels to chew five gum. Stimulate your senses. How was DayZ ever popular? There was a time when DayZ was the game to play. Everyone and their sister was playing DayZ. YouTubers were pumping out enough DayZ content to pay for their child's college education. And I watched a lot of it. I thought it was the coolest idea for a game I had ever seen. But it was only on PC, and I was way too poor to afford a gaming PC at the time, mostly because I was 15, and I only recently got a gaming PC. But even then, I would have had to play it alone. So I've had an interest in this game for a while now, but I could never play it. The only reason I'm playing it now is because I just figured out that it was released on console. My, my, food, not too good my, either. my food meter is completely out and my health meter is completely out. How long do I have until I die? Like a minute. Okay, all right. I was intrigued. I was genuinely ready to give this game a chance, finally, after all these years. But I wasn't planning on making a video about it. The only reason I'm making a DayZ video now, in 2021, is to genuinely ask the internet, Oh! How did this game get popular? Oh, I'm dead. I am a corpse. This game is the most unforgiving, non-intuitive, frustrating mess for hours when you first start playing. I am about to starve to death uh, for the fourth time now. No. For it. Or, Bobby, you need to feed yourself. I have food. You. Yeah, you have an apple or something? Yep. I already ate it. Who had the patience to give this game a chance? When I started playing DayZ, it's like the game was determined for me to not have fun. This sucks. The map is insanely big, stupidly big, and I couldn't survive for more than three seconds. So even when I did figure out what city I was in, I starved to death shortly after that and spawned somewhere totally different. You sure about that? Like, have you found a sign? No, I'm not sure about anything in this game, Corey. I'm just wandering around waiting for the, the uh, elements to kill me. <coughs> there was seemingly no way that I would ever get a chance to play this game with my friends. Okay, but yeah, everywhere else, like there's US, Missouri, or Mississippi. I don't know what MI is, I'm an idiot. But, um, Miss Wisconsin, <laughs> Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's join a Wisconsin server. They don't have a restart button on this server. It might be like hardcore or something. I don't know if there's a difference. I feel like this game's default mode is hardcore. And imagine that hardcore, hardcore, hardcore. What does it do? Kill you in real life? You get shot, a bullet <laughs> comes out of your computer. Soon. Honestly, I think I think the um, the one goal that I have is just to find you or find any. That that is a great goal. Let's just start with that. You can die in some of the most fantastically boring ways possible in this game. Did you forget to wash your hands before eating a zucchini? Dead. Did you take a leisurely stroll through the rain and catch a cold? Dead. Since I'm sick, should I put on a mask to prevent getting you guys sick? Is yes, that would be a great... Are you wearing a Santa here? <laughs> yeah. Since DayZ started as a mod for an ultra-realistic military simulator, unless you served in Operation Iraqi Freedom, you don't know how to survive with nothing but a glow stick and a pair. I don't know how I did it, but it's probably because I sold my soul to Satan. And that's actually not a joke. I, I took money from the devil. Uh, I have to bring it up real quick just because not only did this person donate an ungodly sum of money to the channel, equal to Sergeant Fish Daddy's donation, but they also helped me set up the Discord, which is saying a lot because it still barely functions, even with their help. So who knows what it would have looked like if they weren't so nice and generous with their knowledge. So to you, the devil, thank you. I, I could not appreciate you enough, Satan. Please don't edit that out of con- But if you do find a way to survive and meet up with your friends, this game is kind of special. Eking out a wet, cold, hungry existence is satisfying because the stakes are so high. Where's the nearest military base for me to get more pants? Corey, you look <laughs> like an insane person. <laughs> Hearing gunfire nearby is genuinely terrifying because if you die, that's it. It's over. Everything is lost. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. I don't like that. I don't wow. Like that. 
Oh shoot, I dropped my hammer somewhere, Bobby. I don't have any weapons. I'm gonna throw my zucchini at them. I'm not on the roof. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's him. Oh shit, I think he saw me. Bobby, please. If we had died after all that, which was probably closer to happening than we realized. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was right behind me. Oh my god. I turned around. I think I heard a scream. I would have given up. I feel like most sane people would have given up. How did this mod become as popular as it did? The mod is now its own game. It's so popular. I like how all of us are currently pantsless. <laughs> I am genuinely shocked. I feel like most people wouldn't have given it the time to get set up. Uh, but I'm really glad that everyone stuck through it because that's how I know about it. And it's been a fantastically stupidly fun adventure so far. It almost sounds like it's in that apartment. Yeah, it does. We need to like leave. We need to leave town. This is ridiculous. Cory, don't join the server yet. <laughs> Cory, don't join. Don't join the server. What? Don't join the server? Our, There's our so there has been like safe. we have heard over a hundred gunshots in the past twenty minutes, and it's somewhere in the oh. old building. We saw we a guy walking in into and out of the it. apartment. Like, oh. we saw him. <laughs> well, that's... I mean, that's probably not great. We're in the, uh, we're in the, we're in the apartment next door to it, and we're just staring out the windows. <laughs> hey, Bobby, it's like, it's like there's so, an active shooter drill going on. So so what am I supposed to do? Well, I'm checking it right now for you, Corey. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm, I'm walking Mike, over. That's a bad idea. Oh, my God, Mike. Oh, my God. Mike, Mike, are you alive? What, what, what? Very loud gunshots. Extremely loud gunshots. Okay. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Go, go, go. Just go. Damn. Just get out of here. <laughs> I don't like this. Like. Yeah. Oh man. Can't use that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There's nothing really useful for anyone here that I can say. I. I Hopefully, you got a nose exhale out of it. I, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to let the internet know that I thank them for making this game popular and that I do not understand how they pulled it off at all. This game is ruthless. Oh, I thought Miss Conson would be daylight. <laughs> Miss Conson. <laughs> Where is Miss Conson? Is it an East Coast or a West Coast? Is it a flyover state in the middle? I think it's Midwest. But again, I just wanted to say at the end here, Thank you to Satan. Thank you, Old Scratch. Thank you to everyone, honestly. Patron or not, subscriber or not, if you just somehow randomly found a Day Z video of mine, thank you. I, There's no way. I don't know how anyone, like some of the VR stuff people can stumble across because VR is just new and popular, I guess. But making a video about Day Z in 2021, it, it's actually going to be my first video of 2021, was a weird move. So. I would imagine that everyone here pretty much knows what's going on, and I just want to say thank you to, to all of you. Um, if Side note, if you did somehow randomly find this video, how did you find it? Um, did, did someone post this somewhere? Because I don't, I don't post my stuff to subreddits anymore, so other than that, I don't think anyone could ever find this video. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you are at an incredibly small, incredibly rare portion of the internet. Um, for whatever that's worth, probably nothing. But I, I just want to make sure that I take the time to tell you that since you are here, thank you. Je I, I'm tired of saying the word thank you um, because it, it doesn't get it doesn't really get it across as much as I want to. Um, I appreciate you. You have brought so much happiness and, and meaning to my life. Um, that's it. That, 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 that should do it. Thank you again. Like this video. But much more importantly, love yourself. And I will see you outside of PetSmart. Sure, why not? Goodbye. All right, well, I'm going to eat a zucchini in the bathtub while I wait for you until I hear it's safe. What's your safe word? Is it pineapple? It's zucchini. Oh, well that would make sense. Yeah.